In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we all know, we all pray some time or the other. And we usually pray for ourselves. Jesus said to love others. And one way in which we can express our love for others is to pray for them. So let us begin. Let us pray for our beloved Pope Francis. We pray that God may grant him good health and wisdom to be a true shepherd to his people. We lift up in prayer the Pope's intention for this month. October 2020, we pray that by the virtue of baptism, the laity, especially women, may participate more in areas of responsibility in the church. A ninguno lo bautizaron cura u obispo. A todos nosotros nos bautizaron como laicos. Laicos y laicas son protagonistas de la iglesia. Hoy es especialmente necesario ampliar los espacios con presencia relevante femenina en la iglesia. Y con presencia laical se entiende, pero subrayando lo femenino, porque las mujeres suelen ser dejadas de lado. Hemos de promover la integración de las mujeres en los lugares donde se toman las decisiones importantes. Recemos para que en virtud del bautismo los fieles laicos y las mujeres en una manera especial participen más en instancias de responsabilidad en la Iglesia sin caer en los clericalismos que anulan el carisma laical. We pray for our Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrao. We pray for all the work that he is doing to draw the community in the Diocese of Goa and Daman closer to God. Let us pray for all persons who have consecrated their life to the Lord. Grant them the grace to continue to work in the vineyard. Let us pray in a special way for our diocesan priests. Let's now pray for the Catholic Charismatic Renewal that it might be an instrument of renewal of the entire Church. We pray for the Mega Convention to be held in Mumbai in October 2022 to mark the 50th anniversary of the CCR in India. Prayer most merciful and loving God, we come to you in our weakness. We come to you in our fear. We come to you with trust. For you alone are our hope. We place before you the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We turn to you in our time of need. Lord, listen to your people praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your people praying. Send your love, send your power, send your grace. Send your love. Send your power, send your grace. Bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, endow caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill. 
protect those who are most at risk. Give comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome those who have died into your eternal home. Lord, listen to your people pray. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your people pray. Send your love, send your power, send your grace. Send your love, send your power, send your grace. Stabilize our communities. Stabilize our government. Unite us in our compassion. Remove all fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in your care. Take care of us, your beloved people. Take care of your precious world. Lord, listen to your people pray. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your people pray. Send your love, send your power, send your grace. Send your love, send your power, send your grace. Let's now pray for the prayer groups in Goa that they may be an instrument to encourage spiritual growth in all those who attend the prayer meetings. Let us keep the following petitions which we have received in our prayer. For Benedita, who fell from the escalator at the airport and has fractured her bones. For a family in the UK having problems among themselves, that God may restore peace. For Maxi D'Souza, suffering from cirrhosis of liver and on treatment. For a lady who is supposed to do a brain scan, that her reports may come clear. For Alex, admitted in GMC for COVID. A grandmother requests prayers for her grandson Reuben to be healed of his constipation problem and also requests prayer for her financial problems. For an unemployed man who beats his wife and children. Theresa requests prayers for her truck business to succeed. For Romeo Coelho who has recently undergone a surgery. For a lady whose eldest son has left the house and not looking after her, and the younger son drinks and harasses her. For a lady who has a throat pain. For Sebastio Mario, PPC member from Gorvate, admitted in hospital due to stroke. Antonetta requests prayers for her family. For a young man whose wife has left him that the Lord may bring her back to him. For a young boy studying in the US has financial problems. For Dami Kutino, our intercessor member's mother who went to her heavenly abode on 27th October, pray for her soul. Let us pray for all those afflicted with COVID-19. Let us pray for the safety of all fisher folk venturing out into the seas. Let us pray for all those struggling to make ends meet. Pray also for your personal intentions. Finally, let us thank the Lord for all the answered prayers. Let us lift up all our intentions mentioned in this program as we pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it as was, was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are not alone. Your brothers and sisters will support you in prayer. If you have a prayer intention, all you need do is to WhatsApp 800-745-7376 or 992-187-7376 or make a voice call between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Be assured that a committed group of persons will lift your prayer request to the Lord.